this next segment was a thing of absolute beauty from start to finish. Like 50 minutes of perfect television. It is time for the Wardlow MGF contract signing. Wardlow is let out by security. He is still wearing handcuffs. He has no music, but he has graphics. A giant thumbs down and the words, Boo Wardlow! So he comes out. We go to commercial for what seems like a commercial for Dark Side of the Ring. And they use that expression. But then shortly in there, you realize the narrator of this is Chris Jericho. And then Chris Jericho realizes this is not a commercial for Dark Side of the Ring. It's a promo for MJF. He starts to stop because even though they're both heels now, he still hates MJF. So you're rewarded for paying attention and knowing the history. He starts to back out until he is reminded of how much MJF is paying him. He decides it's worth it. He goes back to work narrating the rest of this. It's the whole history of how Wardlow screwed MJF in the dog collar match against CM Punk. How unfair this was by Wardlow. How ungrateful this was by Wardlow. There's commentary from Taz, who's from Brooklyn, of course, but he talks about how uh, awesome Long Island is and how great MJF is there. And Jake Roberts is talking. And then Barry Horowitz is on my TV screen. Yes, they got Barry Horowitz. With a graphic that reads, and I quote, legendary Jewish wrestler. And he is. He's talking about how awesome MJF is. And the, uh, the final you know, close of this dark side of the ring line is they are going to have a contract signing to settle their dispute. I think at some point there actually was a commercial in here. But then eventually MGF came out playing one million percent babyface. And Jim Ross and Shivani are saying he's insincere. He, he's, he's got an Islanders jersey too. What he means is it's got his name on the back. And they're saying he'd go play for the Leafs in a minute if they paid him more money. Don't, don't believe him, fans. But I, I believe this MGF. <laughs> this MGF loved his people of Long Island. Gets in the ring, cuts a babyface promo about how great it is to be home, the quality of people they have there. Even the poor people, they're so beautiful up in the cheap seats. So Wardlow wants this match against MJF, which means first he's going to have to accomplish some tasks to, to, to run a gauntlet of duties to get the match. And then if he beats MJF at double or nothing, MJF will let him out of the contract. Decide, he decides it's a Long Island is a city of nice people. They should allow Wardlow a chance to speak. And as he's saying this, he's outright explaining he wants people to boo Wardlow, so they do, so Wardlow doesn't speak. I tried, I really did, MGF says. Talks about all the terrible things Wardlow has done. All the terrible things he did to my good friend, the American roller coaster, Cody Rhodes. And people are shocked. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about Cody anymore? Am I not, su not supposed to talk about 2024? The guy in the back doesn't want me to talk about it either. So he moves on to Wardlow, moves back to Wardlow. First thing that's going to happen, he says, I'm going to whip you. I'm not going to whip you one time, not two times, not three times. And he gets all the way up to nine. And he turns to his favorite flunky and calls him by name, Sean Spears. And Spears looks around like he was caught off guard. He removes his jacket. He warms up because he hasn't done this in years. And he gets in Wardlow's face and just goes, 10! And the face goes crazy. So, after the whipping, MJF explains, your next ordeal will be to face and defeat Sean Spears in a solid steel cage. Wardlow begins to cackle. Wardlow is delighted yes. at the idea of facing this guy in a steel cage. Yes. Wardlow's face during this segment was just the greatest. Oh, Wardlow was a star. Even, Everyone in this segment was perfect. He had to say no words. All he had yes. to do was react to this guy. He had to react to MGF being MGF. He had to react to the people booing when he lifted up the mic. He didn't even bother, and he didn't give a fuck. All he wants is his fucking match. And he doesn't care what he has to do. He doesn't care about being whipped. He doesn't care about anything. He was great. So MGF points out Warlow was 0-2 in cage matches. And oh, by the way, the guest referee for this one will be MJF. Now, if Warlow survives this whipping, if he somehow beats Sean Spears in a cage match with MJF as ref, as ref, then he will get a match against MJF at double or nothing. And if he wins, he gets out of his contract with MJF. But if he loses, 
He will never be allowed to sign a contract with All Elite Wrestling again. Warther don't care. He goes to sign right away. He's fine with all this. But he's got the handcuffs on. He's like, I, I can't sign. I, I, my hands are handcuffed together. I can't hold the paper and write the other hand. It doesn't work that way. MJ is frustrated. Uncuff him. Let him get this done. The crowd gasps. Everyone in the building can see where this is going, except this idiot MJF. Mark Sterling is begging him to keep the cuffs on Wardlow. Sean Spears is begging him to keep the cuffs on Wardlow. But MJF insists, uncuff this man. And so Wardlow signs the contract. And then MJF orders them to put the cuffs back on him. But Wardlow refuses and begins to murder security guards. Now, this crowd loved MJF, but they did not hate Wardlow. And he starts running wild. They're going crazy. He destroys everyone. MJF is almost power bombed, but Mark Sterling saves. MJF flees. And so Wardlow power bombs Sterling through the table. Like I say, 15 minutes of perfect television. Yeah, this was uh, this was not bad. They did a contract signing here on this show, which well, they announced a contract signing. I know how you feel about those. I just I I actually laughed, and uh, this is one of the great contract signings I ever saw. I mean, it was they delivered on the contract signing. Of course, there was a brawl afterwards. There always is, but MGF's promo, the stipulations, him getting to play babyface here, but he's still an asshole. Oh yeah. And he even made he even made the comment about you poor people in the cheap seats. He he walked the line right there. He <laughs> almost turned him, but uh, he didn't. And uh, Wardlow was great, and he almost got his hands on MJF, but didn't. So they teased that Wardlow was determined to not have his shirt on when he did that power bomb, and he could not get this fucking shirt off. But God damn it, he wasn't going to quit, and he finally tore that thing off, and he power bombed this guy through the table, and a fabulous segment and. Obviously, you know, this was one of those segments they do where you want to pay your money to see MJF get beaten? Well, do it, because he is. I mean, literally, the only other option besides MJF losing this match is uh, is if Warlow's contract is up and he's he, going he's to... actually leaving, anyway. yes, yeah. that would be it. Other than that, you know, they don't do these bullshit stips where, mm -hmm. you know, MJF beats Wardlow and then, you know, Wardlow signs the contract with the company anyway. Yeah. I mean, there's literally, unless they've they've lost it, there's only two options, and that is he wins or he's actually leaving, which is, in fact, what happened to Cody. He had his stipulation, and uh, literally he left, and now he can fight for the world title. Sure. But it was never happening. No. In AEW. Yeah. I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off. Okay, a bat can only fly, fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.